Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. Join the family. If you've been a follower, thank you so much. I love you. Today, I wanted to show you 10 really simple fashion hacks that made my life so much easier and hopefully it will do the same for you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, press the bell and I'm starting to sound like an annoying YouTuber. So let's get started. First things first, if you like wearing menswear or oversized blazer like me, you know how annoying the sleeves can be. It's so hard not to look like a kid playing dress up with dad's clothes when all you want to do is to look chic. And here's the perfect solution for that. You just take two hair elastics, I say the hair elastics that are too loose for this, and put them on each sleeve, and you basically fold it over. Make sure to cover it under the excess fabric so no one will see it. And there you go, you look very chic and clean without even trying. A lot of you tell me I own so many clothes, but if you decide to wear summer clothes all year round, like I've been for ages, you do have lots of clothes too. Here I'm wearing my short sleeve polka dot shirt and layering a cardigan and a corduroy jacket on top. In fact, I much prefer layering a short sleeve button down underneath my sweater or cardigan instead of the long sleeve to, you know, avoid the weird sleep within a sleeve feeling. That way, it won't give you Michelin arms, but you get extra clothes that can be worn in fall and winter. How awesome is that? Another great way to double your wardrobe is to wear a dress as a top. You can just choose a skirt of your choice and wear it over the dress. Make sure to choose a skirt that are thick enough so it won't look lumpy and weird. Alternatively, you can go with pants. And now we have three different outfits with just one dress. It's not outfit repeating as long as you style it differently and nobody noticed that you're wearing the same thing over and over again. Another great way to create a different look with a dress is to get the layer in action. This is particularly useful for strappy dresses like this one. In summer, layer a t-shirt underneath to create a more modest and casual look. In fall, put on a bond down for a preppy look. Or you can wear a turtleneck underneath for the chillier weather. When in doubt, put on a belt. When you're wearing menswear or any oversized clothes, you tend to lose your waist and end up looking very bulky. So adding a belt on top is the perfect solution to reclaim your waist and add a bit of vintage touch to an outfit. And here you go, from a plain, boring look to chic and classy, no sweat. Speaking of a belt, we all know the very annoying end of a belt situation. Some people like to use a double-sided tape, but I don't like the idea of taping something on a belt and possibly suffering from the sticky situation. So what I like to do is to use a tiny hair elastic that matches the color of the belt and just put the end of the belt through it. And it stays in place. Easy peasy. I cannot recommend this enough. Double your wardrobe by stealing clothes from people around you. It could be your dad, your grandfather, your grandmother, your boyfriend, husband, you name it. If you're living with them, good for you, it's very easy. If not, try asking your family if they have any old clothes that they no longer need. This tie is my dad's, this blazer is my grandmother's, this jacket is my boyfriend's, this coat is my mom's, and just like that you have your own thrift store. And now I look like Joey. As you know, I have a soft spot for long boots, but they can be very expensive. So what I like to do is use knee socks as an alternative. I ordered these four sets of socks on Amazon for like $25, and it's a game changer. Basically, you wear them with platform sandals or any shoes of your choice and you can get this kind of a long boots look in many different colors without breaking the bank. 
It's not just an affordable option, it's actually way comfier than wearing long boots that can be, you know, very sweaty and stuffy inside. This is technically not a fashion hack, but if you wear long boots or knee socks, you don't have to worry about shaving your legs at all. I mean, you don't need to shave your legs or any part of your body if you don't want to. It's just some ridiculous beauty standards women are imposed to. I mean, I haven't shaved mine for like a month or so, but I myself feel very insecure when my armpit or my legs are hairy and avoid wearing like mini skirt or anything that shows the hairy part of my body. But I'm lazy AF, so I don't want to do anything about it. So I just thought putting this information out in the universe in case, you know, some of you feel the same way. So long boots or knee socks if you're lazy like me. Okay, next tip is one cardigan four different ways. Repurposing clothes is kind of becoming a theme here, but that's what I do, so. Anyway, as we all know, here is the standard way to wear a cardigan. It's very timeless and clean. And you can also layer a bun up underneath like we all know. And next, you can wear it backwards and it looks like a cute sweater from the front, but you got this sexy button down situation in the back. Also, you can wear it as an off-the-shoulder top to make it a statement piece of an outfit. Last but not least, just one word, suspenders. It's such an easy way to elevate an outfit, but you don't see many people taking advantage of it. There's something so timeless and preppy and very classy about suspenders. It doesn't matter if you're wearing a skirt or pants, you can make any boring outfit very interesting and vintage-like with your suspenders. No hustle whatsoever. Right, these were my 10 fashion hacks. I hope these were somewhat helpful. And if you have any styling question that I could answer for you guys, let me know. And otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next week. Bye.